source of normalcy and the pub quiz experience that you're used to. So let's get on with the quiz, folks. If you have any questions, did I cover everything? I think I covered everything. We've got a nice crowd playing tonight, 130 people already. Uh, let's get on with round number one. Round one is going to be general trivia. No rhyme or reason to these eight questions that we tossed together for your amusement. Here is question number one. In round number one, I'm going to leave this up a little bit because I like, I like the aesthetic. It also gives me a nice edit point for round number one. All right, round one, question one. Good luck. I believe in all of you and love most of you. Number one, what 90s, 1960s TV sitcom is set primarily at the fictional prisoner of camp Oh, pr sorry, prisoner of war camp known as Luft Stalag 13. I'll put you at the first question. Stumbled out of the gates. Number one again. What 1960s TV sitcom is set primarily at the fictional prisoner of war camp known as Luft Stalag 13? I did forget to cheers. It's the it's the it's the it's the oh. first round, folks. Cheers, Clinky. By the way, if you're drinking something, got we got wine here tonight. But if you're drinking water, beer, cider, something in between, non-alcoholic, that's totally fine. Cheers. Uh, Hey, yeah, thank you, Squirrel. By the way, if you haven't uh, hit the like button yet, please do so. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, ooh, do that too. That'd be nice. That helps us out. If we hit 1,000, uh, YouTube might give us a couple bucks for having these videos up, and that would be really nice because this is my job now. Question two. From 1993 to 2000, what musician was sometimes known by a moniker that was turned into the acronym TAFCAP? an acronym so you have to say it's not an initialism two again from 1993 to 2000 what musician was sometimes known by a moniker that was turned into the acronym taf cap he cheers and i didn't drink it's a bad, i don't want a bad omen question number three round one what geographic superlative is known in Nepali as Sagam Sagarmatha and in Tibetan as Chomo Lungma? I'm actually missing a Chomo Lungma. <laughs> a, oh, uh, I think maybe what, 1% of the audience knows what you're talking about? That's a deep cut. So and I'm not so talking three. about this deep. I got there first, folks. She's quicker. Question three again. What geographic superlative is known in Nepali as Sagarmatha and in Tibetan as Chomo Lungma? You just like the word superlative, don't you? The cat trying to make an appearance. Cat trying to go in a business of her own. Here's question four. In the CMYK subtractive color model, the M stands for magenta, Y stands for yellow, and the K stands for key, meaning black. What color does the C stand for? Question four again. In the CMYK subtractive color model, the M stands for magenta, the Y stands for yellow, and the K stands for key, meaning black. What color does the C stand for? CMYK, I love that song, Quite Bitter Beings. Just a big fan of that when I was in high school. Speaking of references, only two people will understand. I am not one of them. Nope. Right over your head. Five. In March 2019, a Chinese financier paid $1.4 million for Armando, the greatest long-distance racing animal in the history of what species? Thank you, Captain America. Question five again. In March 2019, a Chinese financier Paid $1.4 million for Armando, the greatest long-distance racing animal in the history of what species? All right. Nailed it. Uh, my wife will pantomime what she believes is the answer off screen. 
never not funny. <laughs> oh, people asking, what about the, he the heckle cam? Teddy giving tips, make fun of the Padres or my collegiate athlete career. Hey, Teddy, thanks for not putting that in parentheses or quotations. Appreciate that. Here's question number six out of eight. What military officer was the very first U.S. Secretary of War under George Washington and later had a famous Kentucky fort named after him? Hey, Sergio. I just see that Sergio's here. Sergio's nice. Six again. What military officer was the very first U.S. Secretary of War under George Washington and later had a famous Kentucky fort named after him? Thanks for hitting those likes, folks. We already got 11. That's great. If you haven't hit like yet, please do so if you can. That helps us out. It might, it might get more people viewing right now live, which would be kind of fun. Uh, and also helps us get visible when people like search for trivia stuff. So please, if you haven't yet, hit like. If you haven't subscribed, that would be great. Here's seven. When in Rome and Holiday in the Sun and New York Minute are some of the many films starring what set of twins? Seven again. When in Rome and Holiday in the Sun and New York Minute, too many ands, are some of the many films starring what set of twins? All right, a couple more seconds on this one. Then your final question coming up for round number eight. By the way, uh, at the end of the game tonight, at the end of the game, we're going to be announcing uh, next week's, oh, uh, we got a next uh, week's gimmick show. This Sunday, by the way, this Sunday we have a quiz all about The Office. This Sunday, 7 p.m. Pacific, a quiz all about the American version of The Office. That's going to be right here, live at peopletrivia.co, or just subscribe. You'll, you'll get the not notification. Uh, but we'll be announcing uh, our last one was prom, and that was a whole bunch of fun, more fun than it had any right to be. And we're going to be announcing next Thursday's gimmick show. So, I'm excited. I, we're very excited for it. These are going to be fun. We're going to keep doing these until we need to anymore. Final question for the round. What athlete who has been credited with single-handedly crushing Hitler's myth of Aryan supremacy is the namesake of USA Track and Field's highest annual award? You know, I usually don't like saying that name in trivia, but this is a bit applicable when it's being like, it just crushes it. There he goes. My writer likes to sneak around that rule of this person's name can't be in the quiz, but this is applicable. Number eight again. What athlete who has been credited with single-handedly crushing Hitler's myth of Aryan supremacy is the namesake of USA Track and Field's highest annual award. And honest, the honest trouble with having that name in a trivia question is that it absolutely, uh, when, when it's a live game, it absolutely, uh, everyone like drops their forks and stops. I will say... You are allowed to have it if you have crushing preceding that. Name. Yeah, yeah. Completely fine. <laughs> Completely fine, yeah. But like, yeah. 15 more seconds, folks. 15 more seconds on this oh, round. I'm going to go back. We have, a, we have a heckle to go over, and then we're going to go over the answers. Move quickly. Yeah, Jack is orange now. Sorry. She was... She was... I'm, we're, we're, she's going to... I'm going to represent the colors <laughs> yeah. of the rainbow. She's going she's gonna to Pink Floyd this. I, I'm Jack Floyd. Nice. Nice. All right, folks. Ten more seconds. Eh, that was a, that's a long 15 seconds. Five, four, three. We're going to back it up. We're going to back it up. We're going to go in back to the beginning. We're going to cover... A, oh, we got a couple of heckles. Thank you so much for bringing those in, folks. Really missing in person trivia myself too. I really am. Here's your heckle cam. Hi, heckle cam. Hi, people. What's up? Happy to have you. So glad to start off the night. Our first heckle, our first official heckle comes from Sergio. Hey, Thank Sergio. So What's much, up, Sergio? Sergio? He says, from Amber, music notes. Jack, Jack, Austin's a Lego maniac. Music notes. <laughs> I am. I'm kind of. I am. A, I am a huge Lego nerd. I will. I will own that. Uh, folks, if you are, if you right now, if you have any Lego just sitting around your house, you want to get rid of it, 
Uh, our P.O. box is on our website. Let us know. I'm happy to take it off your hands. We, we'll love it. We Our Christmas gift was we bought, Quo bought a set that was like $300. It was 30% off. Mwah. And then we, I just broke a window and stole it. So it was, it was 100% off. You did I what? Di it was Christmas and that I splurged. You did, wait, a window of a shop? It was a right, window. a window of a It was a window. Shop. It was a window. We have more heckles? We have another heckle. <laughs> Here, our next heckle is from Christopher. Uh, hey, Christopher, thank you. Christopher says, incoming heckle from Aperture Labs. Uh-oh. That suit you're wearing looks stupid. <laughs> That's not me talking. It's right here in your file. On other people, it looks fine. But right here, a scientist has noted that on you, it looks stupid. Thank you, Gladys. And thank you, Aperture Science. We appreciate that. Oh, uh, that was uh, kind of referenced to last, uh, last night's halftime round. Thank you so much, Christopher. We appreciate the support. Appreciate the uh, reference heckle. We got one more. Yeah, we actually got one more. Yeah, I'm, I love Portal. Great heckle. Top heckle. Our next one comes from Sarah, who's a very frequent heckler thank you sarah she says we would like to welcome johnny w to the gay agenda johnny happy trivia night buddy johnny five johnny five still alive Johnny five alive thank you so much for the heckle but i remember we you're welcome so much i mean thank you I, you're welcome for reading it thank you all see you soon bye heckle cam here are your answers to round number one folks round one was general trivia no rhyme or reason to these eight questions just eight of them we tossed together for your amusement number one what 1960s TV sitcom is set primarily at the fictional prisoner of war camp known as Looped Stalag 13? Hogan's Heroes is the correct answer there. Hogan's Heroes. That's a, technically a TV question, but two World War II questions in there somewhere. Technically. Two. From 93 to 2000, what musician was sometimes known by the moniker that was turned into the acronym TAF Cap? Looking for Prince. The artist formerly known as Prince was what TAF Cap stand for. Prince is what we needed for number two. They finally say bye to Jack. Number three, what geographic superlative is known in Nepali as Sagamartha and in Tibetan as Chomo Lungma? We're looking at Mount Everest. Mount Everest is the superlative. That's, remember the superlatives are the thing in high school? It's like it's the, you know, best hair or the, uh, you know, best, the biggest thing. Four, in the CMYK subtractive color model, the M stands for magenta, Y for yellow, K stands for key, meaning black. What color does the C stand for? It's cyan is the correct answer there. Cyan or That's normal. The sound of someone drag racing is normal. Cyan for number four. I just wanted to wait for that burnout to finish. I love my new studio. Here's five. That was four. Here's five. In March 2019, a Chinese financier paid $1.4 million for Armando, the greatest long-distance racing animal in the history of what species? Pigeon. It was a pigeon. Armando's a pigeon. Mm, he bought a pigeon. Number six. What military officer was the very first U.S. Secretary of War under George Washington? Later had a famous Kentucky fort named after him. Looking for Henry Knox. Of course, we're referencing Fort Knox in that one. Henry Knox is number six. Number seven. When in Rome and Holiday in the Sun and New York Minute are some of the many films starring what set of twins? Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. The Olsen twins for number seven. Olsen twins. Here is number eight. Yeah, this sounds like you just took off and got in the car and just ran off. And final question, number eight. What athlete who's been credited with single-handedly crushing Hitler's myth of Aryan supremacy is the namesake of USA Track and Field's highest annual award? Jesse Owens is the correct answer there. Jesse Owens is your right answer. How'd you do, folks? Brag about it in chat. Uh, it's time for round two, but let us know how you did on round one. If you did eight out of eight, ooh, that's time to share that. If you didn't do well, either lie or own up, folks. It's round two. Grab a drink. Cheers. Round two. Clinky for round two. Oh, I forgot to do it over here. Yeah. Sorry, I try not to scream too much. Ladies and gentlemen, round two is going to be your theme round. Theme for tonight's round two is tough. There's some tricky ones in here. Ideally, you have a team playing tonight. Because if you are one person, it's hard for you to know this entire range of what's going on. Uh, round two, your theme... We're dealing with famous trios. In this round, I'm going to name two of the three of a famous type of trio. Your answer will be the third that I'm missing. So I'll name the, what I'm looking for, and I'll say not two things, and then you'll tell me the third one. One point per correct answer. A lot of uh, seven out of eights, couple eight out of eights. Nice job, teams. More wine. 
That's where Jack went. Nice. Round two, question number one. Good luck. Oh. Main actors in The Three Amigos, not Chevy Chase or Steve Martin. Name the third member. We very much like that wine. Uh, someone asked in chat what we're drinking. We're drinking uh, a red blend called Menage a Trois. Hilarious name. Excellent wine. It's a blend. It's just a good, not bottom of the shelf, but like right above it. We're talking single digits, folks. But it's good. Buy a bunch. We're home now. Question one again. Of the main actors in The Three Amigos, not Chevy Chase or Steve Martin. That's classy. Of the cheap wines, it's the, it's the classiest of the cheap wines. I used to drink uh, Rex Goliath because they have just have a giant rooster on their label, and that's just funny. It has nothing to do with wine, it's just a big rooster. But it's yeah. number two of the original Charlie's Angels, not Farrah Fawcett or Kate Jackson. Number two again of the original Charlie's Angels, not Farrah Fawcett or Kate Jackson. Kelly Murderino. What's up, Murderino? Adley Doodley Murderino. I can't not do that. I can't not do that anymore. Number three. Of the opera's three tenors, not Placido Domingo or Jose Carreras. Oh, those were the two of the three I knew. <laughs> yeah, right. Those are, the, <laughs> those are the two that are on the tip of your tongue of the three tenors. We call them the tip tenors. Uh, three again, operas, three tenors, not Placido Domingo or Jose Carreras. Question number four again, famous trios, need the third member of these famous trios. Major types of rocks, not igneous or sedimentary. Rock questions. I'm trying to think of a really... Murderino is just a really good last name. and I, uh, As a hobby, I now try to think of really f appropriate first names for Murderino. Drake. Drake Murderino? Yeah. Whew. It's a movie. It's a movie. They're minerals, Marie. They're minerals. They're not rocks. Dang it, Marie. Number five. Fencing weapons. Not saber or epi. Carol Murderino? I don't get it. But like, I'm like, it doesn't have the. I mean, to be honest, hmm. Jack Murderino. Jack Murderino. She's already married. Mm -hmm. In your face, Kelly. Dwayne. Number five again. <laughs> Fencing weapons, not saber or epi. Oh, okay. I did. Okay, I did try. I did try to watch Tiger King. We we got two episodes in. We decided to watch it while we were eating pasta. And it was the episode where just somebody, it, it just, it didn't, it opens on a very thing you should not be eating pasta while watching. <laughs> uh, and then it's just, we haven't gone back. So I understand Tiger King. I have our own, yeah, we'll get there. Number six, original Powerpuff Girls, not Buttercup or Bubbles. Marty Murderino, that's a good one. Marty Murderino, Marty! We've got to go back. Number six again, original Powerpuff Girls, not Buttercup or Bubbles. <laughs> Turn on the mic. <laughs> Ugh. Well, if 
they think I'm chatty, it's not going to get better, folks. Seven. Here's number seven. Benelux member countries. And not Belgium or Netherlands. Question seven again. Benelux member countries, not Belgium or Netherlands. I really want someone to tell you it's Benelux. Benelux. Or something weird. Dutch. It's like... It's Canadian. Benelux. It's like the letters don't match at all. It's like wa, like Patrick wa. Come on, wa. Come on, wa. Really, wa. <laughs> it's Roy, buddy. <laughs> You're Pat Roy. Ralph Fiennes. Ralph. Oh, I'll get to him next. Rafe Fines. Come on. Final question for the round. Famous trios. Number eight. Members of Destiny's Child, not Beyonce or Michelle Williams. Folks, I will have you know that PowerPoint auto-corrected to the correct to the correct spelling of Beyonce. Mm -hmm. it, that by which he means he had all the letters with the exception of the accent on the final e. And then it said wrong, red underline wrong. You mean Beyonce? You got Beyonce? You mean Beyonce? So she has reached level of. Auto-correct in Microsoft level fame. Just putting that out there. I don't think that works. That might not work for like Eminem. I don't know. I don't know. Good for her. Good for her. Finally, number eight again. Members of Destiny's Child, not Beyonce or Michelle Williams. <sighs> Cannot believe it. Could not believe it. Here's your that's your final question for the round, folks. You got about 15 seconds on this one. Then we're gonna be going back over. We got a, we had a couple uh, heckles. Thank you so much. We appreciate you guys for being a part of the show tonight. Uh, we also had that like button. Oh, we got a couple more likes. Thank you guys so much. If you haven't hit like button yet? Please do so now. Uh, the subscribe button is also a good one to touch with your cursor uh, if you haven't yet, because that really helps us out. We're a small channel, and we're almost at the point, or well, we're halfway to the point, kind of where uh, YouTube might actually monetize us, which is. Might be fun. That might be helpful, considering. Ten more seconds on famous trios. Ten more seconds, and we go over some heckles. Ten more seconds. Shouldn't it be Destiny's Children? Hmm. I think... Well, Destiny's yeah. Child, Fallout Boy. Yeah. Yeah. The Fallout Boys. Rush. All singular. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go back in time. We're going to go back. Going back, and let's bring on Heckle Cam. Heckle Cam, hi. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the game. I hope you're having a good time. I hope they are, too. If they're not, uh, hang out. It's going to get better. 157 tonight. Welcome. The rock question is killing me. I can't think of the answer. I should hey, you weren't it. smelling what we were cooking. So, our first heckle comes from Sergio. Mm. Sergio says... Another heckle. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Amber is the sexiest stay-at-home bartender. All right. Her quarantine... And I practiced this. Quarantikitini. Quarantikitini is the reason I will get these questions all right <laughs> or all wrong. Yeah. Tiki emoji. Dunce hat emoji. Rain man emoji. I, 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 I really like his use of emojis. I will so point I out that he that. did not actually use those emojis. He spelled out those words. Not a single emoji was used in that one. Sergio, that's very creative. I appreciate you. A little look behind the curtain there. I know. We're making sausage. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, and then our next heckle comes from Cassie. Thank you, Cassie. She says, April 30th, 1960, 60 years ago today, my mamacita, Rebecca, was born. Hey. Happy birthday, Mom. I love you, but only a little more than I love my dog. Go Dodgers. Cheers, everyone. Love, beer, porn, money. Oh, I should say beer emoji, porn, money emoji. Happy um, birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, Mama Cita. Rebecca. Rebecca. Okay. Uh, I I have been doing, I did improv for, for a while. Uh, it, Rebecca was my default uh, if I need to like, uh, like a name of, name of female character. Like, Rebecca, get over here. It's my, it's a great name. It's a solid name. Yeah, it has a oomph to it. Yeah. 
Uh, and I'm sorry they don't have a porn emoji yet, you know? I think there's something holding them back. I'm not sure. I don't know why. I don't know why they haven't released a porn emoji out yet. I'll, I'll, I'll think on that. That's all our heckles for now. Thank you, Heckle Cam. We're going to say goodbye to you. Bye. And we're going to go over the answers to round number two. Didn't mean to rhyme, but heck. I'm a poet, and I didn't even realize. Round two, question number one. Name the main actors in the three amigos that are not Chevy Chase or Steve Martin. I was looking for Martin Short. Martin Short was the third one. Martin Short, number one. Number, look at oh, everyone in chat saying happy birthday to Rebecca, too. Everyone's saying, oh, a lot of people, you guys are nice. People are very nice. Look at that. I love it. A lot of celebrating going on in this game. Love it. You guys are nice. Number two. I didn't want to interrupt that. That was a very nice thing people were doing. Uh, of the original Charlie's Angels, not Farrah Fawcett or Kate Jackson, I was looking for Jacqueline Smith. Jacqueline Smith is the uh, number two answer. Number three, opera's three tenors, I was looking, except for not Placido Domingo or Jose Carreras, uh, Luciano Pavarotti. Pavarotti was the correct answer, number three. Number four, major types of rock, not igneous or sedimentary, metamorphic is the third type. Metamorphic is the, oh, the, the third type for number four. Here's number five. Fencing weapons, not saber or epi. Foil. It's a foil is the third type of weapon for fencing. Foil. Six. Original Powerpuff Girls, not Buttercup or Bubbles. Look Blossom! Looking for Blossom is the right answer to number six. Blossom for six. Seven. Benelux members, member countries, not Belgium or Netherlands. The name is the hint there. Benelux. Ben, be for Belgium, ne for Netherlands, Lux for Luxembourg is the correct answer. Luxembourg is number seven. And finally, number eight, members of Destiny's Child, not Beyonce or Michelle Williams. Kelly Rowland is the correct answer. Kelly Rowland for number eight. Folks, how'd you do? Brag about it in chat, because it's time for round number three. Round two is done. Let us know your score. Did you get eight out of eight? Uh, did you get seven out of eight? Did you get lower than that? That's possible. Numbers are lower than that sometimes, so if you did well, brag about it. If you did not do well, no Three Stooges questions. Yeah, because Shemp always screws that up. You cannot include the Three Stooges in any questions about famous trios because Shemp always creates a very muddling situation. You'll, you'll, note, you'll note that. You you'll can no say of the original? Yes, but that's still... I'm telling you right now, there are already people who are typing because we just said that on the stream. Actually, like it, that, it's, the whole, it's like James Bond... With the original broccolis, uh, we just avoid it. Uh, so yeah, no three students questions, folks. How'd you do though? Brag about it in chat. Chime for round number three. I'm not correcting by any chance. Just a, a bit of trivia behind the curtain. That's just why you won't see any three students questions involved. Like famous trios. They were a um, square. It is time for round three. Round three is your picture round. In this round, what are we looking at? Got so much trivia ready. Okay. We are looking. This should be this shouldn't be too difficult for pop culture fans. Pop culture fans. Funko Pops. We're looking at Funko Pops in round number three. I'll show you a Funko Pop. You tell me the person or character or thing or whatever they're trying to represent. Okay? We'll give you eight of them. Good luck. Don't know why I stretched out that W so long. Good luck. Number one. Someone says the whole. I don't think so. You know what? I've been gifted, uh, I think, a total of four Funko Pops, and without spoilers, uh, to me, per that was to you, but like to me personally, all of them uh, have like in either real life or their characters have since passed away. <laughs> so like, yeah. I'm cursed. Do not give me a Funko Pop unless. You want that character or <laughs> individual to no longer exist because I am, I can't take them because the, the they will just, they'll pass. <laughs> it's very, I'm, I'm weirdly cursed on Funko Pops. Just keep them. Number two.
Well, the the thing about Funko Pops is yes, what they're they're an inexpensive way to show off your um, fandom, and like you can you can really easily tell what a person's into just by walking by their desk. Yeah, if they have ten of them on, you can just like scan it quickly. The benefit here is they're just letting you know. They're telling you this without the bother of a conversation. You can tell you're in, they're into that. If you're not into that show, don't bring it up. But if you're into that show, hey, that's an open conversation. Also makes really easy gifts. Oh, makes really easy gifts. Like you got this one. Here's another one. Here's another thing. You love these things. There you go. Ten bucks. So I see I see value in them as long as they're not too expensive. They're really, well, they should be. Number three. Which one is that representing? We, yeah, we are, yeah, one of our, um, one of our, we actually use, this is, this is a really obscure one. No one should I know. I don't know who that is. I don't want to show it, like, during, because that's not, not what we're looking for here, but, like, we use, we use one as, like, an indicator that we have things to communicate during the show, so, like, they're, they're very useful. <laughs> the one I held in my hand is not the one we're looking for. Not that anyone would possibly know who the heck that was. It's really obscure. I want that one the answer to that one. I don't want that one. I do not, don't, again, well. No. I don't think so. Oh, okay. Here's number four. Number four. Well, there's, I believe there is a board game for Funko. That makes sense. They would have that. I mean, it, they are a, it, they're capitalists. <laughs> it makes sense. <clears throat> Number four. Name the Funko Pop. Oh, I should update the teams. I'm sorry about that. I should update those teams. Let's see who's playing tonight. My fault. It's on me. Let's go over the... Uh, let's go number five and let's see who's playing tonight. Number five coming up. A lot of teams playing tonight. 60 teams playing tonight. Here's number five. That's a fun one. All right. I'll just do that. <laughs> okay, I, my, my wife is pantomiming the answer, but I can't wait to see it, but I just can't right now. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Number five, folks. <laughs> yeah, folks, if your team name is really long, we don't we didn't get we didn't get it fit. Let me see if I can fix that. If you have a really long team name, I don't think I fit that in there. Maybe yeah, maybe that'll help. Here's number six. That might be the best I could do. I can do a little better than that, maybe. Number six, name the character or person or thing based on the Funko Pop. You guys have really long team names tonight. Look at those long team names. It means you're smarter. Yeah, I agree. It's exactly that's exactly what that means. I'm gonna stop messing with it. There we go. That's the best we're gonna get. Thank you for having short team names. Number seven. You might not know this one. I don't think you know this one. I know something about this one. <laughs> not enough. <laughs> I you, think know, you know what? I think you, you know, know he what? has a mace coming out of his butt. That's yeah, the that one thing. A mace. Coming right out of his left hip. Well, left to me. Don't start typing right hip in chat, but I'm not saying. Two and six are the same person, right? Chris, save it for the heck. No, you already heckled. I'm kidding. Number seven. Name the Funko Pop. Here's your last one, folks. The last one. Number eight. Ignore my little logo at the bottom there. It's my little watermark. 
We got Dog Moms, Gay Agenda, and John. Team Minnesota. What's up, Team Minnesota? I had a Prince question for you. Less than Dexter, Children of the Porn, Cretan Castle, Pomona Virus. Wow, 183 people watching right now. That's a crazy amount of people watching. Welcome. Folks, hit the like button, please. 26 likes. This is crazy. You guys are nice. Haven't subscribed yet? Please do so now. Because that helps us out. We're a very small channel. Trying to get on YouTube's radar. Maybe people have it, you know, getting us to the point where we can actually get a couple bucks from YouTube. But, hey, if you're enjoying yourself tonight, we have shows Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 7 p.m. This Sunday night. We have a quiz all about The Office. This Sunday on this channel, on this YouTube channel, a quiz all about The Office. 7 p.m. Pacific time. A quiz all about the U.S. version of The Office. You're going to get questions about staplers. You're going to get questions about the copier. You're going to get questions. This is right, right? What is going on? Yeah, you're going to get office questions. She's been nailing it. Jello questions, stapler questions, identity theft is not a joke, Jim questions. You're going to get everything. So join us this Sunday if you're an Office fan. Start binging now. It should be on something you can watch right now. So the Office Quiz this Sunday, 7 p.m. Pacific, here on this YouTube channel. Live. Play live. We're going to score you in everything. All right. Ten more seconds on this one. Ten more seconds. Conrad, don't be an office snob, okay? No one likes an office snob, Conrad. I like to call them office snobs. That's what you said, isn't it? Office snobs. Off I'm trying to make it one word is the thing. Yeah. I'll have more wine. Hey, I liked it. I, I bought it. <laughs> office snobs. Uh, <laughs> that sounds like a weird word. All right, we're going to go back in time. We have not Oh, you guys are very nice. We got some heckles coming in. That's great. All right, you guys are very kind to give us heckles in this game tonight. You guys are... We, we, anything is... This is all icing. Uh, let's bring on the heckle cam then. Hi, heckle cam. Let's bring me on. Hi, everybody. <laughs> How am I looking? Mm, you're looking great. Good I, I try. Know. I think I fixed the white balance. So, am I colors... You're getting better. Good? Okay. Good to know. Uh, our first heckle is a generous heckle from Ken. Hey, Ken. Thank you so much, Ken. He says, as we close out week seven, mm. I'm reminded of a poem. Okay. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Jack can finish this heckle faster than your football career. <laughs> Cheers emoji. It was a whole season. I was on the roster of a college football team. Ken, what can you not wrap your head around? And you're lucky I just said head. I mean, I think it's that you were the third string punter. And did you see game time once? What do you mean? Okay, like see, okay, by see like, game time, like I was on the sidelines and I saw the clock moving in complete dress. I took, tr what, 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 yeah, It's what, okay, let's what, move on. What? Our next heckle comes from Ronald. Ronald. Thank you, Ronald. Great, Heckler. great. Right now, right when I'm down, let's get Ronald in here. Brent, great. The following are all emojis. Fear. Blushy happy. Smile re real big so your eyes are closed. Bl blink. Uh, wink and tongue out. Monocle. Sunglasses. Wink and tongue out. Shock. Those are the emojis. Thank you, Ronald. <laughs> we appreciate that. Uh, Jack's my, make sure. Jack's mic cut out. No, it didn't. We're good. Sorry. We're back. We, Ronald, you're very nice to go all emojis. Uh, it, it was a story. We're going to go back. We're going to we're gonna actually give you the rights to that movie. Uh, we're going to turn that into a screenplay. Thank you, Ronald. Thank you, Ronald. Our next tackle comes from Mia. Hey, Mia. Or, or Maya. Sorry, maybe Maya. Uh, and it says Kelly and Ben. Also, these are emojis. Flan. Female genie. File drawers. Grecian vase. Uh, a sign for a baby changing station Ooh. where you change your babies. Ooh. Grecian vase is now maybe top five emojis for me. I like a grid of dials. No one brings back grid of dials. I'm a big fan of the emoji grid of dials. Uh, it's been used once. Its rarity is superb. And uh, I'm just happy we haven't been yelped recently. Thank you for the heckle. So that, I think, was... Uh aimed at Kelly and Ben. And Take that, Kelly and Ben. Our next heckle comes from Erin, and she also says, Dear Ben and Kelly, colon, and it looks like something should be following the colon, but I actually have nothing. So, Erin, I don't oh, know if you no. have access to chat, but okay. if for some reason yeah. your whole heckle didn't send, yeah, just Aaron. chat us. Aaron. And I'll read it during Heckle Camp. Yeah, send us a chat. You don't have to send it, but it looks like your, your, your heckle got cut in half. It was like, hey, and another thing. 
and then it's over. Like it stopped right there. So let us know. You don't have to pay any more money. Don't don't worry about that. We'll yes. we'll, we'll get that worked out. Thank you, Aaron. I hope everything works out. Uh, our next heckle comes from frequent heckler and supporter Nick G. Hi, Nick G. Thank you, Nick. He says, "Smash that like button." You heard the man. Smash it, people. Smash it. Uh, Push subscribe. the button. I would appreciate. And thank you, Nick, for you know using your money to advertise for us. That's great. We appreciate your help and support, and you guys have been a team that's been playing a long time. So thank you so much. Uh, and yeah, please do so if you can. Oh, I see likes going up. This is great. You guys are, and we have 213 people watching. This is nuts. Okay, let's next heckle. I, I'm just all good news. More wine. Uh, our last heckle for now comes from Andrew. He says, I don't have a heckle, but you guys are amazing. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers and clinky. This is, yeah, let's get that taken care of. Ah. Happy to have, anytime we get over 200 people watching live, that's kind of crazy. Which means, uh, one more heckle and then we're going to go, no, that's it. That was it. Let's go over the answers to round three. Thank you, Heckle Cam. Bye. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. You guys are very nice. Oh, God. Okay. Again, this Sunday, 7 p.m., uh, the office quiz. Here are your answers to round number three. I was asking you all, my friends, my family, my people, name the Funko Pop. Number one, Weird Al Yankovic. Weird Al Yankovic for number one. Number two, looking for Stan Lee. Stan Lee. That's his Funko Pop. Stan Lee. Three. Bieber, Justin Bieber for number three. That's the Funko Pop of Justin Bieber. Number four, Andre the Giant. Andre Rusimov. I'll take either. It's fine. Five, Alfred Hitchcock for number five. That's Alfred Hitchcock in black and white. Six, I was looking for Ellen DeGeneres for number six. Ellen is number six. Here is number seven, Ed Sheeran for number seven. That's Ed Sheeran. You know what I knew about this man? Orange hair? He was in Game of Thrones and everyone threw a fit and yeah. then it got worse. You're exactly right. 100%. He was in the middle. Some see, some people say he was the reason it went bad. Ed Sheeran. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Pod had a much better song than Ed Sheeran like one episode later and I can't believe I remember that. Final Funko Pop for round three. Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix is in number three, number eight. Sorry, I forgot where I was. Jimi Hendrix is the Funko Pop there, folks. How'd you do? Brag about it in chat. Did you know them all? It's time to reveal your score uh, because it's time uh, for round three to be over. You saw round four, but ignore that. It's actually halftime. It's halftime, folks. Halftime is our uh, prize round. We're going to give away a prize tonight, folks. We have one small round in which you will be texting in a guess uh, using your phone. Now, one person per phone is fine. If you have a team and a bunch of people on that team, um, you can all individually play, but only one guess per person, all right, or one guess per phone. Uh, but if you find you're using multiple burner phones, we've been watching a lot of Better Call Saul, so we're wise to that. We're hip now, okay? We get it. We know how criminals work. Uh, no, one phone per answer. If you submit many, we're not going to accept that as one of them. If one of them wins, you can't just give multiple answers. One answer per day. Unless we reset this, which I don't think we will tonight. Here's your game. Yesterday was what's in the box challenge. Tonight is we're playing a weight challenge. Guess the weight. Now, here's what you do. Here's what you're going to do. In pounds to the nearest tenth. So, one decimal point. In pounds to the nearest decimal point. Do not give me ounces. Don't give me ounces. You know what? I have a feeling people have me on mute, so let me do this real quick. I want to use this. I've been wanting to use this for a long time. Let me make sure I have this. Unmute me. I'm giving important instructions, okay? If you've muted me right now, undo it, all right? Unmute me. I'm giving important instructions. For this round, you're going to be texting your you're going to be texting a guess to this following phone number. 657-234-2399. I know a lot of people play this on mute and I get it. I get it. Don't, but I get it. Uh, in this round, I'm going to ask you the weight of something in pounds to the nearest tenth. All right, one decimal point. Don't give me ounces. I don't want ounces. Here's what we're weighing tonight. Oh, boy. My toolbox. We are weighing my toolbox. This toolbox is... I'm just going to give you the 360. This toolbox is a... What brand is this? It's a stack-on... I've had this for, uh, I'm going to call it seven years. 
and it has a lot of things. I'm not going to show you what's in it at all, but it is full with legitimate, like, everything I would keep in my toolbox. That's it. Uh, I, it's, that's what we're doing. That's what we're looking at. Uh, you will be sending in your guess in pounds to the nearest tenth. All right, I'll lift it up again. Here's the toolbox. There it is. Did it up. Did it up. All right, how much? It's full of Funko Pops, uh, says Chet. Yeah, we. I, this is my Funko Pop collection. You cannot have my precious. Uh, no, it's full of tools. Actually, it's, it's got, you, got, you, got, you got, what do you got? Uh, what do men keep in toolboxes? They got, uh, what do you got? Bolts. I got bolts. I got sponges. I got all my bolts and sponges in here. Yeah, you want to talk tools? Well, DM me. We'll talk tools. I mean, but if you want to talk sponges, I mean, I'm sponge. No, uh, legit toolbox. I got tools in here. Uh, you have until, let's make this cut off here. It's not Lego tools. I keep that. I will do. Uh, I Actually, I don't want to weigh all my Lego. That would be kind of sad. Uh, you have until 8.01. 8.01 to give me your answers. 8.01. I'm going to put this down. I'll shake it. There we go. 8.01. Get your answers in. If somebody gets it right on, I think somebody did, did they? If someone gets it right on, we'll take the first one. We got it. We got someone got it right on. Yeah, we got at least one. Let me look. Make sure there's no one else. All right. If there's, if we got someone got it right on, we got 20 seconds. If there's two of you. We'll work it out. But what you're playing for tonight, uh, we're gonna be having a, uh, a gift card to one of our partners. We're gonna work that out. If you've won a uh, halftime last week or this week, we're working on with our partners how to to get that to you. Uh, I just, you know, I just had the idea of like, hey, let's give the prizes to the people that, you know, that are supporting us. And then I worked out how to get the gift cards to them. So if you've won and haven't received it yet, we are 100% working on it. Uh, we just have to work out how to get like your name to the, the spot. So you walk up and you're like, hey, I got a free thing. And they don't look at you like crazy. Time. You don't have any more time to turn in your guesses for this one. Dude, was it only one? I'm sure, I'm pretty sure it was just the one. Who what are the last on. four digits of that phone number? Nine. Three, eight, eight. 9388 if that's the last four digits of your phone number respond again with your email address 9388 if that's the last four digits of your phone number respond again with your email address so we can get in touch with you you nailed it you got it exactly right the correct answer 33.4 pounds that's how much my toolbox weighs make your jokes if you'd like but that's the truth my friends round four is next because that is round three and half time. Uh, we do that every single night. We got a gift every night. If you are not close to us, if you don't have any access to one of our uh, local spots, we're gonna send you like an Amazon card or something like that. We'll figure it out. Round three is done. It is time for round number four. Round four is guess who? Well, this time it's actually guess what? Usually it's a person, pl uh, but this time it's a place or thing. It's a, uh, it's a place and thing. You'll understand in a moment. I will give you four clues in this round. Uh, the moment your team realizes what I'm talking about, send in your answer. You only get one guess, so if you get it right on the first clue, it's four points. You get it right on the second clue, it's three points. On the third clue, it's two points. On the fourth and final clue, a correct guess is worth one point. But if you turn in a wrong answer, you get zero. So make it count. Don't screw up. If you have confidence, yes, send it in. But if you're not sure, wait until another clue because the clues get easier, although the points are less and less. Usually, again, I'm looking for a thing. Tonight, not the case. You'll know pretty quickly what I'm looking for. Good luck, folks. Number four. First clue. Four points. This institution was named after the one-time governor of the British East India Company in recognition of a gift he gave to this institution. In English, this institution's motto is light and truth. The first president of this institution was Abraham Pearson, who lived in the East Coast City of Killingworth. Perfect. They already sent back. Oh, nice. Congrats. Right there. Click show. You should bring it up. Yay! Congratulations. I'm going to thank Jeff. Nice job, Jeff. Well done. For our halftime round. Well done. We've got a couple seconds on this. Uh, not a couple seconds. We're going to give you until. 8.05. 8.05 is the cutoff for this clue. 8.05 until we give you the next one. Any submissions coming in after 8.05, we don't grade. Or we don't grade as a four. So 8.05 is your cutoff, folks. 8.05. I'm so happy to see a big crowd here tonight. It's one of the bigger crowds we've ever had. 
please. I'm just going to keep taking advantage of this, folks. Hit that like button if you haven't yet, and please subscribe if you have not yet. Uh, once we, If we can hit that point where I no longer have to ask, I promise I won't. But uh, we're a small channel, and this is my job now, so i got to do that. You guys are very nice. My instinct tells me that once you start asking, they make it so you can never stop. They just, <laughs> they just, just keep need it, more. Keep it like, oh, yeah, yeah, you got a, you got a thousand, you got a thousand subscribers now, huh? How about five thousand? Huh? I need, I need 10, Content. 20 subscribers a day just to get the same high I did before. <laughs> I'm high on likes. <laughs> <laughs> that joke alone should get me a subscriber. I'm just telling you. 10 seconds. 10 seconds till the next clue. 10 seconds. I am deceptively strong. I will say that. I don't look like I'm, I should be that strong. Here's your three-point clue. In 1861, this university awarded the first PhD in the United States. When it was established in 1701, this school's name was simply Collegiate School. One of the nine colonial colleges chartered before the American Revolution. As of 2018, this university has graduated 61 Nobel laureates. This school's acceptance rate was a mere 6.9% giggle in 2017, making it one of the most selective in the U.S. This school's campus is home to the Harkness Tower, the Hewitt Quadrangle, and the Connecticut Hall. That's your three-point clue. Uh, we had a clarification in chat. If you like a video, that's like that helps that one video. Uh, if you subscribe to us, that helps us as a whole. That's like the, the entire channel. 807 to the next clue, folks. 807. Is that too close? No. Nah. You got about a minute. 807. Again, this Sunday, office quiz. At the end of this quiz, we're going to announce uh, we, next Thursday we have another gimmick show. Last Thursday it was prom. Next Thursday we got a new one coming up. We're really excited about it. It's going to be fun. Uh, you get to dress up at home. We're it's it's silly now. This is all silliness. We're trying to help. Twenty more seconds till the next clue. Was anyone here? Okay, who's playing here? Was at prom? Was anyone here at prom last week? Did we go to prom last week? Oh, Shelly, don't say that in chat, but thank you. <laughs> All right, here's your next clue. For two points, located in New Haven, Connecticut, this Ivy League school is the third oldest institution of higher learning in the U.S. after Harvard and the College of William & Mary. In addition to five U.S. presidents, this university's alumni include Jody Foster, Meryl Streep, Morgan Stanley, William Boeing, and Noah Webster. This school was also fictionally attended by the Simpsons' Mr. Burns and the Gilmore Girls' Rory Gilmore. A lot of people played uh, prom. Look at the chat. A lot of people have trivia prom. That was really fun. We got another one coming up. We will deliver the same type of entertainment. For our next gimmick show. Have to, right? 809's your cutoff. 809 for this clue until the last clue. 809. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw one of the heckles coming in. I shouldn't. This spoils me, but. All right, under a minute. Specifically, 45 seconds. Then after this, we're going to go over a couple heckles. So many heckles just came in. Wow. Great. Sounds great. Hi, hey everybody. Games every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. No answers in chat. I am a little out of focus, aren't I? Okay, I can fix that. He's always telling me he can't focus. <laughs> that should do it. That should do it. I'm pretty sharp now. Deadbolt, explain yourself and why we shouldn't edit that. Here's <laughs> tell us why you, tell us why we shouldn't mute that, Deadbolt. You're usually pretty usually nice. Okay. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt on that one. I'm not sure what that means, buddy. Here's your final clue. <laughs> one point. 
This school's mascot is Handsome Dan, who's a bulldog. This university's athletic mascot. Uh, with the second largest monetary endowment and the third largest academic library in the U.S., this school is largely considered one of the best and most prestigious in the world. This school's most famous academic and athletic rival is Harvard University. How do you find our playlist in Spotify? Great question. Search People's Trivia Co. People's Trivia Co. If you search that on Spotify, uh, I have my own playlist I've been playing for about five or six years that I've been, you know, working on. Uh, if you're used to my playlist when you play trivia, put it on Spotify in the background. It gets the whole experience. So if you search Spotify for People's Trivia Co. My, not company, Co. Okay, Deadbolt did explain himself. I understand. I you get it. You use Asian. That's why I understand you, now. Well, it's not entirely. I, I thought specific, one specific were funny, and two, I didn't actually say it was detrimental to the country. No, no, it was but, just just where we were getting our viewers. Like just literally. There's Asia. one. Yeah, there's one view. There's one. There's one video that we have that's far and beyond has way more views than any other video we have, and it was just like we had for some reason we're linked to a lot of adult videos. That was that, that was why. Like I'm like, wow, we were really popular. Oh my god, why are we associated with this? So, if you see one of our videos, I won't say which one, but if you see that one, and it's got like thousands of more views than the others, I didn't do that on purpose. I, it's, it's. What's up, Lindsay? Oh, we're gonna crack 300. That'd be crazy. All right, under a minute remaining. Ten seconds remaining. We might crack 300. That'd be nice. That'll be a first. I think I don't think we've ever uh, beaten 300. Please subscribe and like this video. That'd be nuts. All right. Answer we're looking for will come after these heckles. Let's go back in time a little bit. We have a couple people wanting to be a part of the show tonight. If you want to be a part of the show, send it through Venmo. At People's Trivia is going to be your uh, name you're searching for. Anything uh, a dollar or above, we will read on stream. So if you want to be a part of the show tonight, at People's Trivia through Venmo. We're gonna read it. Here are the heckle cams. Here are the heckle cams. All the cams. All the cams. I'm a cam girl. That's what we're. I'm I a discovered cam girl too. That recently. I realize that like I I make money by people giving me money and insulting me. <laughs> we're gonna go through a couple heckles right now, and then Great. we're gonna save the rest for the end of round four. Great. G uh, Gina says. Hi, Gina. <laughs> <laughs> There's Deanna sometimes gives, and you two, your names screw me up. So Gina says, Team Yellow House loves the club vibes tonight. Austin, show us your best club dance move. Do it. Okay, okay, yeah. I can dance. Do okay. He, I mean, he went all out. Nice. I don't know if you know that, but Ten. I was not in a chair for that. Those were my legs. <laughs> that was my legs doing that. You're welcome. Ugh. I have to see a doctor tomorrow. Thank you, Gina. Uh, our next heckle comes from... That Brad. got us over 300. That got us over... It was for a second, but thank you. Hey, Ben. <laughs> uh, hi, Ben says, Happy Thursday, Stone Cold Steve Austin Floyd. Yeah. Jack, you killing it on heckle cam. She's doing... Turkey singing into a microphone emoji. Ah. Thank you so much, Ben. I really appreciate it. <sighs> they confirm my shorts. Dang it. Dang it, they confirm my... I spoiled my pants. Shh, <laughs> Don't quote me on that. The, we sell the cat, so stay Just, I should never say I spoiled my pants into a microphone, ever. I spoiled my pants. Okay, Nick, <laughs> it's our next heckler. Nick G, he says, again... Is this the same one? Wait, no, no, here, no, sorry. Come on! Push the button! Come on! Pretty sure Austin was quoting the annoying craps girl from Vegas. Yes, a hundred percent, I was. I can't believe you picked that up. Teddy can back me up. If you play robotic robotic craps in Vegas, if you like, it's like, come on, push the button, push the button. It's once you hear it, you can't get it out of your head. Yes, Nick, you nailed it completely. That was the best heckle ever. I'm uh, really glad you recognize. We quote that to each other all constantly. The time when a button that in the microwaves, the elevator. <laughs> Thank you come so much. On. Okay, thank you. Gwen has our next heckle. And I will keep drinking. She says, we've been heckling you all week, so this time we decided to be nice. Jack and Shadow, you're the best. Love, Teddy and Hubs. What's your game? <laughs> Devil emoji. Upside down smile emoji. Wine emoji. Yeah. 
slice of cake emoji. Yeah, usually the shows that we get into the wine, they're a little different. I've noticed this. <laughs> they're just a little different when we get into the wine. I apologize. I'm about to open a second bottle. You know, I'm going to do one more for now. And we would like to welcome... Oh, no, see, this is going backwards. Okay, uh, Sarah says... Speaking of muting Austin, the gay agenda has increased the use of closed captioning function on our television exponentially since starting to play trivia. How would, I, I wonder if I enunciate enough for uh, for that to actually work out. Okay, we're gonna take two more. Okay, thank we'll you. Two more. Our next one comes from Matthew. Uh, you know the the mute. Oh, never mind. Um, <laughs> I turned it up really quick because I was dancing along the. <laughs> Matthew says, "Clean bathrooms." Four and a half stars. Oh, dang it. We got yelped. Our next heckle comes from Small Terry, who says, <laughs> Heckleception loves the gay agenda. Uh, cheers emoji. Okay, so that whole thing was Matt's heckle, including the fact that he said our next heckle comes from Small Terry. He fake heckled us in the heckle, and then he yelped us. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's amazing. <laughs> Next heckle, please. Okay, we have to go through more. these. Oh my gosh. Yes, please. Helen says. Hi, Helen. And for God's sakes, whatever you do, don't, under any circumstance. Thank you so much. Bye, Heckle Cam. Take care of yourselves and each other. That's all you put. What is going on with these heckles tonight? You guys get cut. You're, you're cut off. You're like a bad movie. Round four. I was looking for the answer of Yale University. Yale was the correct answer to four. Yale, don't know why I went backwards here. Here's round 4.5. In this round, I'm, I have four questions loosely related to the clues that I just read you. Not exactly directly about Yale, but about th the clues having to do with Yale. Question number one, good luck. The British East India Company was formed in 1600 by what English queen? The last monarch from the House of Tudor. Give me the numbers, folks. If the, if, the, if the royalty has a number at the end, I want that number. Give the number. Come on. Give the number. I cannot be that annoying all night. That can't get us viewers. That can't possibly get us viewers. Somebody, okay, Dreaming Tree did start the Yelp trend. Getting us Yelp. I, I will, yeah, small turn. Number one again, the British East India Company was formed in 1600 by what English queen? The last monarch from the House of Tudor. Need the number, folks. If, that, if they have a number, I need it. Question number two. What does the PH in a PhD stand for? The degree. Question two again, what does the PH in a PhD degree stand for? I think it's People's Trivia Co. with its uh, period at the end. Tell you what, here's question three. I'm gonna put the link to our Spotify in the chat. <laughs> Number three. On Gilmore Girls, what is Rory's full first name? Which is also the first name of her mother. Question three again. On Gilmore Girls, what's Rory's first name? Also the first name of her mother. Do it. Just put a link to our Spotify playlist in chat if you're interested. That's the one I play usually on our uh, weekly live shows. Number four. Harvard University located in what Massachusetts city north of Boston, also the home of MIT? I got some East Coast players tonight. Question four again, Harvard University, located in what Massachusetts city, north of Boston, also the home of MIT? Crosstown Rivals. 
All right, folks, that's the last question for round 4.5. I'm going to give you about, eh, let's call it 20 seconds on this question. Then I'm going to go over, we have more heckles. You guys are so nice and kind to give us uh, your support tonight. So if uh, if you haven't yet, now is probably the time to do so because we might not have time for everyone tonight. Uh, but we appreciate the fact that you guys have been so nice and generous. Uh, 15 more seconds on uh, the four questions for this round, folks. While I watch a magic trick. Eh, nah, nah, nah. Thank you. Da -da -da. Uh, five seconds remaining. You guys are very nice tonight. I cannot believe this crowd is great. Uh, folks, by the way, another another reminder, office trivia this Sunday, 7 p.m. Pacific. Uh, like and subscribe. Let's bring back the heckle cam. Yes? Yeah. I like the heckle cam. I married yeah, the heckle I cam. Too. What's up? Well, well, you know, you should let me know because I thought you married me. Oh, no. Hey, that's me, the Heckle Cam. Uh, thank you guys all so much for being very generous tonight. You guys are very kind. Our next Heckle is a very, very generous Heckle. comes from Jay. Hey, Jay. He says, the people's champion. Dude, did not know you could lift your own body weight like that toolbox. Hi, Jack. Hi, Jay. Just... That last thing, don't say it in an airport. Can't say hijack in an airport. Learned that the hard way, picking her up from... <clears throat> anyway, uh, thank you, Jay, for implying I weigh 33.4 pounds. <laughs> Jay, thank you for the generous... I miss... Jay, I'm, Jay, I miss you. I miss you and the entire team. I know. I, I, it's, it's, I, I miss the live shows. Thank you for the support. Thank you, as always. Uh, our next hearty heckle comes from Greg. Greg says, Our membership dues for the party planning committee's event this Sunday. Ooh. The Goon Squad. Love it, love it. Thank you for your uh, for your dues. However, uh, I, I will let you know, this Sunday's uh, The Office game, free to play. Just show up and have a good time. You can team up like you're playing now. You can team up, get your friends and family and join on your own team. I'll see you then. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to watch all those episodes because uh, of the quiz. <laughs> Our next <laughs> heckle is another one from Ronald. Hi, Ronald. He says, hey, Austin, when I saw you lift that toolbox... I was going to guess it wasn't very heavy, like 1.2 pounds, LOL, shocked face, happy blushing face, Oof. winking tongue out face, a uh, rolling crying face, angel face, uh, happy face, clown face. Clown face at the end there. I love it, Ron. I, I, I bet you, and I can't I can't guarantee, I, oh, I can guarantee you probably beat me in an arm wrestling contest, so I'm not even going to talk trash. Thank you, Ron. I, I don't try to like deceive when I pick stuff up. Like Everyone's like, oh, you were faking it. Like No, stuff's heavy. Thank you. Thank you. For the support. Uh, we have another heckle from Reese, a hearty heckle. Thank you, Reese. He says, now I, this is how I always say it when I read it online. So he says, ooh, ooh, ooh daddy ooh. jack. Oh, no. And it's actually those letters that are supposed to look like a little anime face that's being cheeky. Or not cheeky, but like coy. Reese, that's that's weird, Reese. <laughs> he, I'm, and my husband's right here, Reese. I'm right here. Don't ooh, ooh, ooh me. Um, but no, actually, whenever you send it with money, woo woo is what you want. Get weird, folks. It's money. Uh, we need to keep lights money, on. We have, yeah. We'll, we'll take a couple more. off right now. Another one from Stasia. Hey, Stasia. Who before. Or Stasia. Hey, Stacey. Sorry if I say it wrong. I call her Stacy. Uh, she says, always fun, guys. Heart dog moms. We try dog moms. Thank you so much for the we support. Heart you. Thank you. Uh, another heckle from Sarah. Sarah says, I spoiled my pants. John Bon Jovi or Austin. John Bon Vovi. John Vovi. Bon Vovi. That's a callback. I love it. Love the callback. Thank you so much. All right. Two more heckles, then we got to go on the answers. Okay. Our next one is from Caroline. Hey, Caroline. Yeah. She's the reason for the... She, she, well, you know what Caroline wants to say? She says, welcome to trivia by Liv Bilvia. Miss you guys. Bilvia, I believe is that name. And Welcome. Caroline misses you, so thank you, Caroline, for that heckle, and thank you, Bilvia, for joining us. Hope you have a good time tonight. Hope you know some stuff. I mean, if you don't know any answers, it's my fault for asking. Welcome to the game. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, our last heckle for now comes from Kendall. Okay, hi, Kendall. He says, poop, UFO, poop, dinosaur, T-Rex, poop. I'm making money saying poop, 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 pink heart. Thanks for the trivia. I was making money doing that. I want to. I want to cut that video out and I want to put it to your resume. Like, what? Yeah. What are your previous skills? I say poop and I make money. 
Thank you so much for the heckle. Be a, be weird or be, a, you know, whatever. We, we appreciate it. Thank you. Bye, heckle Thank cam. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Bye. See you soon. Let's go over the answers around 4.5. 346 people playing tonight. Crazy crowd. we got shows Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, every 7 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, office quiz this Sunday. Uh, we'll tell you what our Thursday quiz next week. we got a gimmick show coming up. Folks, you guys are great. Get on the Venmo. Mm, heckle us. Number one, the British East India Company is formed in 1600 by what English queen? Looking for Elizabeth the First. Queen Elizabeth the First. I was asking for the number. If you just put Queen Elizabeth the Second is kind of in charge right now. Uh, so I needed the first there. For number two, what does the PH in a PhD degree stand for? Philosophy. Doctor Philosophy from the Latin Philosophe Doctor. For number three, on Gilmore Girls, what is Rory's full first name? Also the first name of her mother. Lorelai. It's Lorelai for number three. Here's number four. Harvard University located in what Massachusetts city north of Boston, also the home of MIT? Cambridge is the correct answer there. Cambridge is the right answer to number four. Folks, how did you do? Did you do well in that round? Did you do poorly on that round? Four questions. Let us know in chat because it's time for round number five. Round five is coming up next. Round five is guess the theme. Guess the theme of this round, folks. Cheers, clinking, by the way, if you're holding on to your drink. We're going to keep going. If you think I'm, again, if you think I'm too chatty, boy, does it not get better. After wine. Uh, my friends, my family, my people, round five is guess the theme. In this round, oh, I got to get the Chiron right. <clears throat> in this round, I have eight questions for you. The correct answers to one through seven all have something in common. What that thing in common is, is going to be your answer to question number eight. So keep your eyes peeled and your ears open for something in the answers that ties them all together. Sometimes it's not the whole word itself. Sometimes not the whole answer. Sometimes it's within the word. Just use your notes. Look at the answers. Focus on the ones you know you've got correct. That should give you the hint. Then double back to the harder questions. Folks, time for round five. Question number one. Guess the theme. Good luck. 300 This is a record-breaking crowd tonight, folks. I'm in so many screens. Ridiculous. Round five, question one. What professional wrestler, known by the nicknames Heartbreak Kid and Mr. WrestleMania, beat John Cena in a 2007 match that WWE.com called the best Raw match in WWE history? Ooh, boy, friends, you know I can't get through a whole night without mentioning both Lego and pro wrestling. I'm a huge nerd for both. The pro wrestling quiz will be coming soon. I just I just don't know when, but I really want that to happen. Don't give me answers in chat, my friends. Number one again, the professional wrestler known by the nicknames Heartbreak Kid and Mr. WrestleMania beat John Cena in a 2007 match that WWE.com called the best Raw match in WWE history. Yeah, we can, we can, so just don't give us the answers, please. It's in red text right up at the top. Please, no answers in chat. If you're just joining us, welcome to the game. We got two rounds to go, but we have quizzes every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific. So please subscribe. You'll catch the next one. Uh, you can also play live. If you join us at the beginning of the game through a QR code, you can play live. We're going to keep track of your scores. We give them and post them. We can go ahead and ban that guy. I did that. <laughs> Uh, we can, we're can we going to go ahead and post your scores uh, next day on social media. That's gonna, Thank you for that, by the way. Uh, on People's Trivia Co. on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, at least he was... I love... Because, uh, like, loud and wrong is a nice mix. <laughs> nice mix. Just I, I love seeing someone who's very loud and very incorrect. <laughs> Number two. What NBA team named in part after its home city's biggest attraction, Walt Disney World? Thanks, John. We got him. Thank you, John. Appreciate folks in chat helping out. Thank you guys so much. We got a good community here. I like that everyone's very friendly. You know? We try to moderate, you know? It's not the Wild West in there. Question two again, what NBA team is named in part after its home city's biggest attraction, Walt Disney World? <laughs> nope, it's a hamster in chat. User is banned for that. <laughs> it's 
It's a warning, Deanna. Question number three. Played by Kadeem Hardison for the six seasons, what is the rhyming name of the flirty character known for his flip-up sunglasses on the TV show A Different World? Three again. Played by Kadeem Harrison for six seasons. What's the name of the what's the rhyming name of the flirty character known for his flip-up sunglasses on the TV show A Different World? We got like 48 likes. That's gotta be a record for viewers tonight, record for likes tonight. Oh man. Hopefully we get a couple subscribes out of this. That'd be nice. Um, we're a very small channel, so we appreciate the support, you guys. Thank you so much. This is our job now. Here's number four. What US state contains the tallest man-made structure in the Western Hemisphere? The KVLY TV mast found between Fargo and Grand Forks. Record for likes was when Derek got, took his shirt off. You're right. That was like 64 or something like that, wasn't it? You're right. I could look that up. 100%. Yeah, we did. My roommate did offer. He's been on the American Ninja Warrior. He did say if you hit a certain point, he'd take a shirt off. And he did. It's in our, it's in our, it's in our uh, archives. Check it out. We have like 20 trivia shows uh, on our, like 21 on our uh, page, by the way. If you if you get bored, play a game, you know, it's like a movie. Here's number five. What 30th president was born on the 4th of July and was the first ever to give a radio broadcast from the White House? I don't, I actually don't. You'll have to, you have to, you know what? In order for the people to fit, find out, you have to watch all of them. I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry, it's gonna be rough. Is Meryl Streep here? Meryl Streep's not here tonight. Meryl Streep actually shows up. We had Josh Hartnett. Meryl Streep. Wow. Here's number six. Here's question number six. Folks, if this last 30 minutes is long, it's because we're savoring it. <laughs> Number six, what is the name of the musical theater icon who composed the Phantom of the Opera, Cats, and Jesus Christ Superstar? Question six, what's the name of the musical theater icon who com composed the Phantom of the Opera, Cats, and Jesus Christ Superstar? I think as soon as you said musical theater. We lost, we lost a we bunch lost. of viewers. <laughs> we were so close to greatness. And then I said musical theater, un- follow you guys are very nice tonight we appreciate all the support through you guys' heckles likes and subscribes you guys are great it's a free show but you know question seven what animated tv show follows a time traveling japanese man who attempts to defeat the evil shape-shifting master of darkness aku It's one of her favorite shows. <laughs> so my wife is currently trying to restrain herself from screaming the answer at the top of her lungs. It's one of her absolute favorite shows. Question seven again. I had to I had to like brace before I asked the question, I'd like I had to like <laughs> What animated TV show follows a time traveling Japanese man who attempts to defeat the evil shape shifting master of darkness? A coup. Can we do it? Yes! We just cracked 400, folks! Yay! Little Animal Crossing. Crack. I'm gonna bring on the heckle cam real quick. Okay, thank you. Here's your question, final question for the round number eight. It's the first time we've ever hit 400 people watching it live. You know, it's kind of fun. Final question What's the theme for the round? Take a look at the answers to one through seven. They all share something. What that thing, it's not really easy tonight. It's not an easy theme. I'll share that with you now. It's kind of tough, but uh, if I'm asking for a person's name in this round, the first and last name might help. 
Folks, we're going to give you about 20 seconds on this clue. Then we're going to go back in time. We're going to go over the heckles. Donnie says, this is my first time here. He knows some of the answers, but I'm smart enough to not come in and come in and answers or anything. I don't know what that means, Donnie. Oh, 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 like chat and answers. Thank you, Donnie. We appreciate you, Donnie. Come back uh, next Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific. That's when our game starts. You can play live on your smartphone. Uh, if you have your smartphone with you, you just scan that QR code. You can play live. We're going to keep track of your scores. We submit them to our social media. Uh, it's a fun community. 400 people here tonight, so it's like double what we're used to. So please come back. First off, this Sunday, we have the office quiz. This Sunday, 7 p.m. Pacific, the office quiz is going to be happening. The American version of the office. Subscribe now to get that notification because if you don't subscribe, you'll miss it. I'll just say that. If you don't subscribe now, you're going to miss it. So please subscribe to us to get that office quiz in on Sunday, 7 p.m. Pacific. Also, next Thursday, we're going to have a gimmick game. Last week, it was prom. Next week, we've got something else coming up for you. we got a special game for you guys. We'll announce that at the end of the game tonight. So you guys are very, very nice. Thank you so much for congratulating us, congratulating us on breaking 400. That's actually, kind of, that's actually kind of really fun. If we hadn't already cracked open two bottles of wine, we'd crack open another. Uh, let's go over some heckles, folks. Yeah. Heckles. I'm going to bring on the heckle cam after she's finished. Yeah. Hi, Echo Cam. Hi, everybody. I really liked question seven, and it's killing me inside <laughs> that I cannot say what it is. She's breaking pens with her with one, one hand. Uh, thank you so much for playing. I'm having a great night. It's awesome. This is a really fun night. Uh, a very hearty heckle comes from Deanna. Hey, Deanna. Not Dina. Deanna. And she says... Roses are red, violets are blue, Jack is adorable, so instead of one star, I'll give you two. Two whole stars! I love stars. No, we got yelped. Oh, no, we got yelped. That was a sneaky yelp. Some right. people don't heckle us. They actually submit yelps and reviews to restaurants that don't exist. We got yelped. It's like we're a restaurant, but we're not. Damn. God, how could they? We got yelped. Uh, thank you, Deanna. Shoot. Our next heckle comes from Eric. Eric says, I'm sure to bring a big pot of chili Sunday night. And rolling on the floor laughing. Crying. Oh, no. Emoji. <laughs> well, having a big pot of chili and rolling on the floor is exactly what Kevin did in the office. That's appropriate. Oh. Nice job. That was funny. Thank you for the uh, heckle. Second worst moment in the office. Yeah. Scott's uh, tots. Well, you won't mention it. And uh, our last heckle for this round comes from Andrew. Uh, music notes. So we'll march till we drop by the big cooling tower. They have the plant, but we have the power. Oh, wait. what You know this song, right? So we'll march till we drop by the big cooling tower. They have the plan, but we have the power. Simpsons reference. Excellent. Saved Thank it. you, Andrew, for the Simpsons. Sorry, I started reading it before I acknowledged what it was referring to. <laughs> I, Saved it. Thank you so much, everyone, for your heckles. I'm having a fun time tonight. Folks, I'm sorry if this next round stretches out a little bit. I'm just kind of, we're going to kind of have fun with the big crowd that we have right now. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We never had a big crowd, and we like the attention. So round six might be stretched out a tiny bit. Well, I we mean, gotta I eat dinner. Have, I, I've done my job, sir. Bye, Heckle Cam. See you soon. All right. Answers, round number five. It's not going to be too long. I'm not, I'm not. Round five answers. Number one, what professional wrestler known by the nicknames Heartbreak Kid and Mr. WrestleMania? Looking for Shawn Michaels is the correct answer there. One of my all-time favorites. Shawn Michaels for number one. Mikey in the bank absolutely nailed that one. Number two, the NBA team named after, in part after its home city's biggest attraction, Walt Disney World, Orlando Magic for number two. Looking for the Orlando Magic. Number three. Played by Kadeem Hardison for six seasons. What's the rhyming name of the flirty character known for the flip-up sunglasses on the TV show A Different World? Dwayne Wayne is the correct answer there Number th for number three. Dwayne Wayne <laughs> for number three. Four. What U.S. state contains the tallest man-made structure in the Western Hemisphere? The KVLY TV mast found between Fargo and Grand Forks? North Dakota is the correct answer to number four. North Dakota. Raise up. Rip your shirt off. Spin it around your head. Whip it like a helicopter. That's, that's not right. Five. 
What 30th U.S. president was born on the 4th of July was the first ever to give a radio broadcast from the White House? I was looking for Calvin Coolidge. Is the correct answer there. Calvin Coolidge. We have someone playing from Mexico? What's up, Gabby? We got a Mex- we, Welcome to the game. Bienvenidos. Ah, trivia. Yo, soy. Austin Floyd. I don't have to say soy. I don't have to say yo. I'm sorry. I took four years in high school. Six. What is the name of the musical theater icon composed? The Phantom of the Opera, Cats, and Jesus Christ Superstar, Andrew Lloyd Webber for number six. You needed Andrew Lloyd Webber for number six. Number seven. What animated TV show follows a time-traveling Japanese man who attempts to defeat the evil, shape-shifting master of darkness, Aku? Samurai Jack! Samurai Jack. is Long right. ago in a distant land. All right, we don't have much. I, I, okay. We will go, we won't get copyright striked if we go over the entire intro. And I want to save those for round number six. By the way, if you're playing round number six and you hear some silence, it's because YouTube did not like what we played during that audio round and they silenced it. Wah, wah, wah. Finally, number eight, what's the theme for the round? Look at the answers in this round. We have, within these answers, Sean, Magic, Dwayne, Dakota, Calvin, Andrew, and Jack, Johnsons. These are all famous Johnsons. Sean Johnson, Magic Johnson, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Dakota Johnson, Calvin Johnson, Andrew Johnson, Jack Johnson, Andrew Johnson's the... 17th president, by the way. Uh, Calvin Johnson is Megatron, the NFL wide receiver. Dakota Johnson, actress from Fifty Shades of Grey. Uh, let's see here. You know who Magic is. You know Jack Johnson. And Sean Johnson is a gymnast. Folks, how'd you do? Brag about it in chat. That was the fifth round. The penultimate round. Jack. It, was, it was purely coincidental that we had that uh, player in chat saying The Rock for the totally unrelated question. 100%. 100%. <laughs> It had nothing to do with it. <laughs> that's amazing. So that might be the first time in the live trivia history in which someone spoiled a question in which they were not trying to spoil. Uh, that was a reference to a different question. So that was a tough round, folks. So many people here tonight. So many people here playing tonight. Folks, games every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific time. Subscribe to us, please. Do it right now. Do it now, please. Like us if you haven't yet. The fact that we have a big crowd here is just amazing. My name's Austin. That's my wife, Jack. The final round is next. Your final round is your audio round. It's the media round. <sighs> this is the last round until this Sunday, folks. This Sunday's the office quiz. Even if you're not good at the office, you can binge it. You know, you got time. Binge it and then just show up on Sunday. See how you do. We got prizes and whatnot. Folks, I appreciate you being here tonight. Here's round number six. Round six is your audio round. Here's the round. Ooh, this is a tough one. I guarantee, I guarantee, 75% of the crowd will get, hate me for this one. Not going to have a happy crowd for this one. We're talking sports. Sports for round six. Audio round. Sports. This is really tough. Ooh. Really tough. So, I'm going to get all my plugs in now. Let's see. This Sunday, The Office, 7 p.m. Pacific. Subscribe, like us. At the end, when we give the answers, we're going to tell you our next gimmick game. Here's your theme for round six. Oh, cheers, Clinky, by the way. And by Clinky, we mean refill. Thank you. Round six, your audio round. These are famous sports calls. These are famous sports calls. In this round, ooh, this is tough. <laughs> Name the team or individual who won or was the victor in these given calls. Maybe TV, might be radio. I don't think I have a telegraph in here, but your job this round, I'm gonna use this because it's, it's applicable. One second. Unmute me. I'm giving important instructions. In this round, I need, I'll wait, the name of the victor. Who won the winner of this call? You'll hear a famous sports call. You tell me the individual or the team that won the game event thing that you're hearing. This one's tough. We might break, 
Yeah, we dropped under 400 immediately. I <laughs> thought so. I thought that would happen. Here is your first playthrough. You're going to hear this twice, folks. Sports round. Good luck. That was crazy. I loved it. Here's your first playthrough. Good luck, folks. Number one. It's got, no, does not have the leg. And Chris Davis takes it in the back of the end zone. He'll run it out to the 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45. There goes Davis. Oh, my God. Davis is going to run it all the way back. Number two. Little roller up along first. Behind the bag. It gets through Buckner. Here comes Knight and the win it. Number three. He throws it across the field to Dyson. He's got 30, something. He's 40, got something. 50, He's got it. 40, He's got it. 20, 10, He's got 5, it. End zone. Touchdown. There are no flags on the field. Number four. That may have been. Who knows what will unfold in the next several months. But that may have been the last shot Michael Jordan will ever take in the NBA. Number five. Down goes Frazier. Down goes Frazier. Down goes Frazier. The heavyweight champion is taking the mandatory eight count and is as poised as can be in a neutral corner. Number six. This is try for the quick pass to half court and call a quick timeout so they can get in better shooting range. There's the pass to Leitner. Puts it up. Yes! Number seven. They're still in deep trouble at midfield. They tried to do a couple of... The ball is still loose as they get it to Rogers. They give it back now to the 30. They're down to the 20. All oh, the band is out on the field. He's going to go into the end zone. Number eight. The plan of hand is there. The puck is still loose. 11 seconds. You've got 10 seconds. The countdown going on right now. Morrow. Up to show five seconds left in the game. Do you believe in miracles? Yes! Unbelievable. Folks, that's a tough round. That's a rough one. I understand. I get it. We always try to, you know, stick it to the point that this is a team game. But if you're playing by yourself, hopefully you knew sports on this round because this was a tough one. Even if you knew sports, this was a rough round. So your final round again. I'm going to play it again in this round using these famous sports calls or announcements. Name the team that won the event that they're referring to. Folks, oh, Deadbolt. Ooh, Deadbolt. Ooh, I'm going to let you in on that one, you monster. Here's your second and final playthrough. My folks, some of these calls are historic. Ken, you're right. You get chills listening to these things. If you're a sports fan, these are historic calls. Thank you. Sports fans, you know what I'm doing here. We tried to cover all our bases. We're a general knowledge quiz. We try every by also the point when we do music stuff, YouTube always, always flags and cancels that. So uh, we were trying to mix it up. So that's why we have some different stuff. Here's your second playthrough, folks. Good luck. Good luck. 450. Wow. Number one. It's got, no, does not have the leg. And Chris Davis takes it in the back of the end zone. He'll run it out to the 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45. There goes Davis. Oh, my God. Davis is going to run it all the way back. Number two. Little roller up along first. Behind the bag. It gets through Buckner. Here comes Knight and the win it. Number three. He throws it across the field to Dyson. He's got something. 30, He's 40, got something. 50, He's got it. 40, He's got it. 20, 10, He's got 5, it. End zone. Touchdown. There are no flags on the field. Number four. That may have been. Who knows what will unfold in the next several months. But that may have been the last shot Michael Jordan will ever take in the NBA. Number five. Down goes Frazier. Down goes Frazier. Down goes Frazier. 
The heavyweight champion is taking the mandatory eight count and is as poised as can be in a neutral corner. Number six. This is try for the quick pass to half court and call a quick timeout so they can get in better shooting range. There's the pass to Leitner. Puts it up. Yes! Number seven. They're still in deep trouble at midfield. They tried to do a couple of... The ball is still loose as they get it to Rogers. They get it back now to the 30. They're down to the 20. Oh, the band is out on the field. He's going to go into the end zone. Number eight. McClanahan is there. The puck is still loose. 11 seconds. You've got 10 seconds. The countdown going on right now. Morrow up to show. Five seconds left in the game. Do you believe in miracles? Yes! Unbelievable. All right, you got it. Wrap up. 30 seconds left on this round to give me those answers. Folks, 30 seconds on this round, your final round tonight before we go over the answers. While we're waiting for those answers, let's go over the final heckles tonight, folks. Get those heckles in if you haven't yet. Uh, let's go over the final, and for that, we need the heck cam. Yes? Hi. Yeah, we have heckles. You guys are so great. We have record-breaking numbers tonight. You guys are so nice that, for joining us, and we appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, thank you. I love that we're growing. Like, I'm so excited for this every day. Thank you guys for your support. Uh, Amy uh, has a heckle. Hey, Amy. She says, Dog Moms is ashamed that we didn't know what number seven was. Crying, 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 crying. We will never make that mistake again. Okay, as long as you promised. And I think she's referring to Samurai Jack. That's and I right. think they say that because my trivia team name when I play at, at their location also with Dog Moms is Samurai Jack. Yeah, they should that should be in your that should be in your head. You should have that Helen Keller confidence. If there is a cartoon that you have no idea what the cartoon is, just put Samurai Jack. It's a good cartoon. Um, because it deserves it. You should. There's only like four seasons. You should watch them. Um, thank you so much. Our final heckle for the night is a very hefty heckle. Comes from Crystal. Hey, Crystal. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Crystal. Thank you. Very generous, Crystal. She says, "Weekly only fans content subscription. <laughs> no. Please continue to show socks. Keep up the no. good work." Uh, double pink heart. No. From Suck It, Trebek. Oh, I miss Suck It, Trebek. I miss my live teams. Uh, the um, we got a couple more heckles coming in, but like people kept asking me like, join OnlyFans, and I did. I, I looked at the site. A lot of adult uh people there. I didn't feel comfortable, so I don't have an OnlyFans. This is you know, a couple more heckles, then we got to go on with the answers. Thank you. Eric requested his heckle be read after the answers, so sure. I will save that. Okay. okay. Fine. Uh, I'll forget, but okay. I'm going to forget. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to remember for you. We're going to forget. Ben heckles. How do we request our money back after the sports round? You can't. Asking for a friend? You can't. You're done. It's a tip. You got to reach your hand in that tip jar like George Costanza. That's rude. You can't. That's rude. Can't possibly. Yes. Hey, dirt A. Baby, I've got your money. Don't you worry. I know Ben's laughing. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we'll take. Well, is that it? Yeah, Eric will make me come back real quick, but I'll, uh, I have to leave for now. I'm glad that sentence continued. Thank you, Heckle Cam. We'll say goodbye to, right now. We'll get you back. Oh, these are quick, folks. Here are the answers for round number six. I asked you to name the team that won. This is a sports round. Name the team that won during these special calls. Number one. Auburn University. That was a 2013 NCAA football match during versus Alabama. Number two, New York Mets. That was the, uh, I believe, the Buckner game versus the Boston Red Sox. Mets won that game. Number three, Tennessee Titans for number three. That was a Music City miracle against the Buffalo Bills. That was an, uh, uh, a lateral play on a kickoff. Four, Chicago Bulls. That's the... Uh, uh, against the Jazz in the NBA Finals in 98. Number five, George Foreman is the winner there. That was Foreman versus Frazier in the Sunshine Showdown. 
Number six, Duke University was the winner for number six. That was the 92 NCAA basketball final four game versus Kentucky, but Duke won it. Seven, University of California. That's the 82 football game versus Stanford. The band is on the field. The play, that was the play. That was the one where he goes to the end zone and he just decks a trombone player. And finally, number eight, that's Team USA Hockey, 1980 Lake Placid Winter Olympics versus the USSR, the Miracle on Ice. Folks, how did you do? Did you know your sports questions? Did you have a teammate on your team that knew sports? Brag about it in chat because you are done with the quiz tonight. You're over. It's it. It's done. We're going to give you your scores tomorrow on our social media. That's at People's Trivia Co. on Instagram and Facebook. We're also going to give you a couple things when the game's over. I've already showed you that I'm wearing shorts tonight. I'm going to announce two things. Oh, Eric needs to give us the heckle. I'm bringing, bring on the heckle cam. Here we go, Eric. Real quick, just for you, Eric. He says, I'll be sure to, uh, uh, da, 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 I mean, he says, do you believe in miracles? Bum, yes. Bum, bum, Team made up from. of mainly Minnesota players led by legendary yeah. Minnesota coach Herb miracles. Brooks. Herb Brooks. Where are you from? Thank you, Eric. Thank you, we Eric appreciate and it. Everyone with the heckles, have a good night. We get it. Bye, Heckle Cam. We understand why you wanted to wait on that one. Folks, we promised a couple things. One, we're going to announce. I already showed you I'm not wearing pants tonight. I'm wearing shorts tonight. The kind of shorts I'm wearing is a hint towards the announcement we're going to be making later. Uh, let's bring Shadow the Cat, our official mascot. Shadow the Cat, we're going to shake some treats and get Shadow the Cat. She's 13 years old. And she is a sassy little mofo. Let's bring her on the chat. Oh, come here, sweetie. Hi, Shadow. This is Shadow. <laughs> this is Shadow. Say hi to everyone, Shadow. There she is. She's 13 years old and she wants none of this. There's a video on Facebook of her doing just bad kitty stuff. But thank you so much, Shadow, for joining us here tonight. Look at this kitty. Huh? Your guys' heckles and support helps us keep the lights on and keep this little monster fed. Look at this cat. You know it is your moment, don't you? Yes. All right. I'm going to put you down because you hate this. There's Shadow. One hi. thing. Hi, Shadow. Everyone says hi to Shadow. Gilberto saying nudes. Well, Shadow was naked, so you get that. Second thing we'll announce is that next Thursday, one week from today, our next gimmick game. Trivia Beach Party. Ladies and gentlemen, break out your sunglasses, your beach balls, and zinc your nose. Next Thursday, we have a Trivia Beach Party, a game themed around the gimmick of a beach party. Some beaches might be closed, but Trivia Beach is open. We will see you on Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific. That's next week, one week from today. That's going to be May 7th. May 7th, 5-7 Beach Trivia Party coming up. This Sunday, the office quiz, that is May 3rd, 7 p.m., all games, 7 p.m. Civic. We have games Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 7 p.m. Civic time. Boy, do we have a lot of games for you tonight. We're also available for private games. If you have a group party or something that you want to celebrate and you want to have a, you know, a live game like this with your small group, we offer very affordable rates for very small parties. We want to make sure that you have uh, access to celebrations and we're a company of the people. So please contact, contact us at, at people or people's trivia co at gmail.com, Facebook or Instagram, people's trivia co. Again, one more breakdown. This Sunday, we have the office quiz, 7 p.m. Pacific. Next Thursday is Trivia Beach Party. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. When we get to a thousand, I will probably stop asking you. Uh, we have had a great time tonight. We've had record-breaking numbers. My friends, my family, my people, on behalf of myself, my wife, my co-host, Jack, and our cat, Shadow, thank you so much for joining us here tonight. We'll see you, if you like The Office, we'll see you this Sunday, uh, 7 p.m. Pacific. If not, we'll see you next Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific, every single week until we no longer have to do this anymore. Thank you so much for joining us. You're the best. We appreciate you. Take care of yourselves and each other. Like and subscribe on your way out. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks, people. Bye.